morning, everyone. Uh, I'll now put on the talk and we can just continue listening and meditating. So first of all, you start talking about energies. Is that for me? Uh, these energies are moving within us, and how they activate. Then you talk of the third energy, which is the one which has evolved us, and that's how we are here. And you talk about yourself the controlling part, uh, which is controlling you, the spirit. So if you go on an abstract line, it would be very appealing. Then afterwards, see, once you have talked about energy, is that once the people, that is within you, it's a sort of the if you go, you say, oh, we have this energy, we can utilize this energy, we can do this and that. And then you bring them down to serve it later. But to begin with, let us talk of abstract Because Indians are different and Western people are different. They are fed up of religion, they are fed up of all these things. So if you talk of religion, it creates a problem. That's why in the beginning, you see, Vedas, when they were written down, they didn't talk of God or deities at all. They talk about God, about the Creator, but just about Brahmadev, throughout Hiranya Garva, Brahmadeva, right side, they talk. And <coughs> the whole thing is a mantra is like Bhu, Bhu, Swaha, Sriti. Now, Bhu is actually Muladha, is the earth. Then Bhuva. Bhuva is the one which we call the Antariksha, is the one which is all created. He talks of Brahmadeva. Then Swaha. Swaha is capacity to burn off of the other. It is so surprising. And then they talk of Maha Tapa. Tapaha ma, ma, uh, and Maha. Yeah, so, Maha Tapa. So when they talk of Swaha, they talk of Maha. Maha is uh, what you call the great Allah Akbar. And of Tapa. Tapa is the one where you have to become a Tapas means a person who is going into penance, that of Christ. And they say that you have to penetrate through the suit. That is this. The whole thing is in such an abstract way. And then you get to a moksha. So they have talked of all the chakras. But if you talk about that abstract part of it, people have no objection. They listen to it. They say it's <laughs> There's no religion as such. So today especially, I'm talking about Vedas and this Havanas we do. When we do the Havan, it is a Yadni. Yadni means by which you know. Dhyam means to know. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> and this is the where you use swaha as the word. That means you use the principle of fire 
to burn off all that is wrong, Swaha. And you awaken it by taking the different names of the God. And it started at the time of Rama. Today is Rama. I should say, it was not started, you should say, but it was very much in vogue when Rama did. And they used to do yadnas at that time. The reason was, the people had just started realizing that there is something higher, and you have to worship that higher self, the seer said. And they thought that best thing is to do yadnas. The same thing. On the left side, of course, people started the worshipping of God and dedication to God and all those things. That is bhakti. But mainly what they did before Rama was the yajnas, the Vedas, with which they prayed to different elements. Elements have made our chakras and tried to evoke the deities of the elements. But actually, it, it amounts to the same. So, as a child, Rama was studying with a very great saint. And when he was studying with him, Vasishta was the name of the great saint. And Vasishta had an ashram where Rama and his brothers studied. Come now. Come in. Come for. Give her a chair to sit down. Can you give her a seat here? Yeah. I think uh, you, again you can do there. Lots of seats are there. was studying with this sister and they used to come for holidays to father's place. Then she had the capacity to kill a demon with only one arrow. It's called an ekaban. One arrow was sufficient to kill her. And it was a small little child, say about seven, eight years of age. And people were surprised how he could do it. So whenever they had a yajna, now these yajnas were created to awaken, evoke the deities inside the spinal cord, actually. And for these yajnas, they used to sit down and do all these havanas the way we do it. But at that time, the rakshasas would come and try to spoil the yajna. Because yadnas are to be done with pure heart and with cleanliness and with purity. It should not be insulted. There is a protocol about it. When they thought that if we insult the deities there, then the deities will disappear and their yadnas will be spoiled. Now these yadnas were done in the olden times even, even when Rama was not here. But at the time of Rama also, there were some Rakshasas who took a special pleasure in spoiling these yadnas. And Rama as a child would go and protect them from the demons. And the demons would take some sort of a funny form and come like invisible creatures and put some bones of animals and things like that in the yadna. Okay, we'll just uh, finish off with a small meditation. Um, let's say one mantra to Sri Sita Rama. Om Tvameva Sakshat 
श्री सीता रामा साक्षात श्री आदि शक्ति माता जी श्री निर्मला देवी नमो नमः We can say it two more times. Om Dwameva Sakshat Shri Sita Rama Sakshat Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha Om Dwameva Sakshat Shri Sita Rama Sakshat Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha We can just pray here that mother please look after all my duties and responsibilities and please make me a righteous person We'll say one mantra to Sri Hanumana. Om Dwameva Sakshat Sri Hanumana Sakshat Sri Adi Shakti Mataji Sri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha. Sri Hanumana, please look after our right side and all right sided activities. Lastly, we'll finish off with the three great mantras. Om Dvameva Sakshat Shri Mahalakshmi Maha Saraswati Maha Kali Hegonat Mika Kundalini Sakshat Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha Om Dvameva Sakshat Shri Kalki Sakshat Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha Om Dwameva Sakshat Shri Kalki Sakshat Shri Sahasara Swamini 
मोक्षा प्रदायिनी माता जी श्री निर्मला देवी नमो नमः Okay, thank you for joining everyone. You can continue to meditate if you wish. I will see you all around.